What's up guys? It's Alec back 111 and since the last video went so well outside and it looked really good with the Ace Tech Tracer units, I got an unboxing today and so I figured I'd do it outside instead of throwing uh, my light boxes up my room and doing it. Also because I leave for college in probably like two hours because my spring break is at an end. But before I do the unboxing, I want to show you something I've been working on for a year and that is my real AR. So I finally um, end up putting it all together. I have an SB tactical brace. I'll do a video on this. This is an AR pistol. It's over 30 inches so I can use a vertical foregrip. Um, but this is the real deal. I think this is an airsoft one. But um, a lot of people are like, oh, Alec Mac, do you even shoot real guns? And I'm like, yeah. And, and they're um, just really excited that that is finally done and that I finally <laughs> am able to go shoot it. Now you can't shoot it in spring break, but I can shoot it over summer. But I'm going to get into this unboxing. I got this from my friend Jonathan. We end up actually probably, it's like the third time I feel like we've traded. Um, I traded him an SAI 1911 and my Lancer Tactical, um, the new Lancer Tactical gun that I got, the Warlord series, which was awesome. Um, but I traded that to him for a custom build that he had been working on. Um, he said he's done a lot to this, so I'm really excited to see it. It looked really pretty in the pictures. And then also I got a Volter upper for my 14.5 inch. I've been running an ugly GMP spec upper on that for a long time. I've been looking for a Voltor. And so with the new stubby build that you guys are about to see here soon, um, that'll be pretty cool. But the stubby gun, um, that is all tan, and so this one is black. So I'm really excited kind of to match the bodies, but also... Um, to kind of match this thing is in here well all right we got it all right i got it open sorry this table's a little bit low it's outside and so i'm using a table from my living room but i'm gonna be able to show you the gun so there's packing foam and there i'll go ahead and do the upper first just because i'm really excited for the upper and get the good old bubble wrap Sweet. So this is an older Voltor upper. I don't know if you guys know much about these, but these are really hard to find because the GMP has stopped making them. Um, they actually stopped making them probably about three or four years ago, but because they stopped making them, um, it just makes it like really hard to find and they're really rare. They did, they do continue to make this upper, but they don't have the Voltor license trades anymore. Um, they're doing it as like their GMP little aircraft aluminum uppers but I forget what they actually call it. it's the same style but it doesn't have that near one Voltor weapon systems logo on the top and that Voltor sword on the back side and I just think that looks so cool I like that this is weathered honestly I don't mind it. it still looks like it's in good condition no receiver cracks or anything but these these are so hard to find I ended up paying like 85 ship for my whole tan body last time and that's like a pretty decent deal to be honest he threw in some G and G .20 gram BBs, which is not bad, a thousand rounds. That's sweet. I can go shoot this a little bit more. G and G actually makes some pretty high quality on um, BBs. There's a sling for doesn't look like an AR, and finally the gun. So I'm gonna toss this box over here. I'll go ahead and go over the gun. That's cool. Um, so it's a VFC, technically it's an Echo One USA Platinum build, but that basically means that it's a VFC build. Um, it's got a stubby suppressor slash. Um, just a little barrel extension there. It looks like it might be have a barrel extension or like caught like a thread adapter as well. Um, I can't tell what the. It looks like it's been spray painted over. I think this is a GMP barrel extension. Oh, so it's a clockwise and counterclockwise, I would guess. So I wonder why he has the thread adapter on there. He does have a tight bore all the way out to the end of this. Um, this is a legit Daniel Defense rail system. I think this is the airsoft version maybe the real one kind of feels like the real one to be honest um, but these things are super super nice i love these rail systems um, they're gorgeous they're just perfect you have a lot of real estate you have all the markings on it um, they just look cool the echo one platinum bodies are really good it's got a magpul pts grip the stock is a little bit loose i'll probably just have to i don't know if it's the delta ring that needs tightened or not the delta ring the um the nut back here that needs to be tightened or if it's the screw on the inside we'll see that later it does have a pro win hop up or not pro win this is the lonex hop up system that's right lonex i forget i i had a little bit of problems last time i used these but i think it has a flat bucking um and then the gearbox on this is completely redone it's really nice he said he's put a lot of parts in a lot of shs um, i don't think it has a mosfet but i know it has a really nice motor in here um he looks like he has yeah, it looks like it's a different motor in there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what gear ratio it is. I think it's like 16 to 1. Um, but he said this thing shoots really well. He said it shoots really, really far. And so this is a great build. I mean, it's great length, perfect length to be able to get out there and shoot long ranges. So if the compression, the gearbox is really good, it's going to shoot uh, very high. 
probably like a 420 um, but it's just as long as it's like it's kind of like a mixture between high speed and then um, like FPS and honestly for me I like to shoot right around 400 I love my guns to shoot right a little bit under 400 so I can use them anywhere I might have a certain MED at certain fields from 350 to 400 but in Ohio most of the fields are outdoor so I never have a problem with any guns shooting too hot I just have to watch my MEDs so I sh can't shoot people close so I'll either bang bang them or if I choose to run a pistol I can use a sidearm and then I'll take people out from there usually I'll use the Elite Force 1911 tack if I run a sidearm um, but a lot of time, if you're if you're good, you're able to come up on people and bang bang them, and you don't have to actually shoot, or you're able to keep a distance. So one of the things I'll do, I'll kind of keep a distance from somebody. So if I take maybe five steps off of a building, I can say five steps off of a building and still engage them and still be outside of the MED and still take them out. And I don't ever like try and shoot for any like face or anything. I try and shoot mostly for the plate carrier. Now sometimes if people don't call it, and or if they're only sticking out their hand, like you can shoot hands. Um, but most of the time people wear gloves and face masks anyway and usually you'll catch people on the helmet because that'll what's that's it will be what sticks out the most on somebody because sometimes they'll only release their head out but it's really important to wear full face protection especially if you're in those close quarter environments it does have a Raptor style charging on here which is really cool I don't know what brand this is it doesn't have any markings but it's like the dual prong I really like that that's probably the coolest thing I had no idea that was coming with that so that's really cool Thanks for watching this video, guys. Once again, finished building my real AR. Um, this is just a quick video. I'm heading back to college today. I figured I'd do this kind of like a one take. Um, you guys love seeing unboxings. I put a poll up a little while ago, and you said unboxings are my favorite. I like to do more unboxings. So I decided to do unboxings when I get guns. Um, I used to do a lot more of those as you've been, been here for a while. But it's a little bit hard when I'm at college. I have eight weeks left, though. So eight weeks left. I don't know how much I'll be able to upload in these eight, next eight weeks. Um, but I'm going to try, and after that, I got the summer, and I can do maybe whatever I want. And there's a chance that I might be traveling around the U.S. to play at some fields. So if you want me to come to your field, comment where you live, um, because I really want to take a summer road trip and go and shoot people in a bunch of places. This has been Alec Mac 101. I'll see you guys later.